going on? Uh, doing a quick video here for somebody that asked a question about this Arrow Precision Free Float Handguard and uh, how hard it is to install if you're using a standard upper, which this is built off of, versus the enhanced upper that Arrow puts out. Uh, I grabbed the standard one because I couldn't find an enhanced one at the time. I was buying it off of Arrow's website and they didn't uh, have any, so I just grabbed the standard. But anyway, for the guy that wanted to know um, how hard these are uh, to install versus the, the enhanced ones that essentially just slip right on and bolt up, um, I was going to kind of go backwards um, without taking the whole barrel nut completely off. I'm just going to show you uh, essentially what it uh, boils down to if... Um, <clears throat> If you want to see just how difficult or uh, whatever, I'll kind of explain how it works. And of course, I'm going to have to put more Loctite on these, but whatever. It's all right. <clears throat> so there's six, I'm sorry, there's uh, eight total screws, hex screws, that are holding this thing into place into the barrel nut and uh, four kind of on each corner, or two on each corner, four on each side. <clears throat> and uh, once this thing comes out, I will say that for these being Loctite, uh, they're not, I don't know, they break free pretty easy. I don't know, maybe I didn't do a very good job of Loctiting these suckers on here. Hopefully I'm staying in frame for this video. I'm doing my best. It always sucks to do this with a camera involved, but all right. So there I go. All the screws are out. Let me get this lower out of here. And this sucker will just slide right out. Hopefully. All right, so the biggest challenge you're gonna run into with these, being that uh, they're on a standard versus the enhanced, is the barrel nut that they give you is a little, uh, I don't know, a little goofier than, than your typical one. Um, if you see here, it's only got four slots that it can essentially uh, put the, the gas tube through. All right, and so you've got them on at uh, the 12 o'clock, the 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and the 9 o'clock positions. So that makes it difficult, more difficult, to line up the gas tube properly. Um, you're trying to get between 30 and 80 pounds of torque on this sucker uh, with your torque wrench. And so, uh, you know, the typical barrel nuts will have you know, spots all the way around the whole circumference of the barrel nut, which makes it easier. You can, you know, it doesn't take much to get it to line up. With this one, you've only got four spots to hit. So what they do is they give you these shims. <clears throat> if I can lay the sucker down. They give you these shims, all right? And so uh, I started out trying the barrel nut without these shims. Actually, to be honest with you, I didn't even know it had shims. I pulled everything out of the packaging. I started to, you know, install it like you would a typical one. I threw the barrel nut on. I was like, started to, you know, go at 30 pounds torque, 40 pounds, 50. And I was looking at this, you know, the hole for the gas tube. And I'm like, there's no way this is going to ever line up. I'm going to have to put 200 pounds of torque on this to get that, that hole to come around. And so I... I was kind of scratching my head looking at this thinking, God, I think I'm going to need to shim this somehow. Well, sure as shit, I look in the packaging and here they were. There was a bunch of shims kind of stuffed down inside the um, the really bad packaging that Arrow does for their handguards. You know, it's not, uh, they just throw it in a box basically and wrap it up with some uh, foam. And these were stuck kind of taped in, in the foam. So found them, 
and I started, uh, I added a couple, I think I added two for, actually, I think I added one, not enough, added another one, not enough, the then I was like, well, geez, how far am I going to have to go? I dumped like five on there. That was too much. So I think I ended up with three of these total um, in between the, the barrel nut and the receiver before I got it where uh, the the um, gas tube lined up and I had about 60, 65 pounds of torque total on the barrel nut itself. So, But once that happened, once I got that dialed in, you know, the rest is – typical stuff nothing to it uh obviously make sure when you're doing this if this is your first time doing it put this stuff on the threads molly grease use this stuff this whole tube is like four bucks and it'll last you a lifetime damn near um this molly lithium grease put that on the threads man put it on the barrel nut threads put it on the receiver threads uh keep it from seizing up ever um and keep the uh threads from galling so anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, you know, show that it's not that different putting it on a standard receiver versus the enhanced receivers, but their barrel nut is a little bit goofier. There's no instructions. There's nothing that tells you how many pounds of torque to put on it. Uh, it's, you know, it's only got four locations for the gas to go through, and you have to shim it. And so, like I said, I, three was the magic number for me. You know, I'm sure... If you're running a standard receiver, it's probably going to be about the same. You know, I, I would think it's, you know, three or four shims probably. So um, hopefully that helps uh, to the guy who is asking how hard it is to do. Um, that's pretty much it. So any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot.